<clears throat> Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm Dustin Cormier, and you guys are watching How to Rock a Campfire. Um, so today's lesson is going to be a request that was sent me by Donna Bonifield, I believe. So this one's for you, Donna. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to play, um, what's it called? Black Horse in the Cherry Tree by KT Toonstall, something like that. Um, yeah, so, uh, um, this is, uh, what, another request video. If anybody ever wants to send me a request, just feel free to throw it on my YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel, and I'm sure I'll, I'll make time to figure out, um, to show, to show you guys what it is that you, whatever you need to learn. So, uh, Donna said that she's having trouble with the strum, um, so I'm going to show you guys how to, how to do the strum for this song, and then I'll try my best to play it through. It's a tough vocal song, but we'll do it anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, the main thing about this uh, song is, is the strum. It's very syncopated. Syncopated means that it's not going on a straight beat. Um, something that's not syncopated, that's straight, will sound, you know, something like this. This song is actually syncopated, so when you hear somebody playing it, it's like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to slow it down for you so you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing here. So first thing I want to do, I don't know if you can see my foot, but I'm going to try to um, show you guys what this song is going like with the beat, okay? Because the beat is going, you know, one, two. I'm gonna slow it down for you. One, two, three, four. 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 Alright, so the strum is, um, as I said, it's weirdly syncopated, okay? Um, but we're going to break it down for you guys. So, when you're doing this song, um, how did I have it? Uh, I'll, I'll just, I'm just going to break it down. We're going down, down, up, down, down, okay? Down, down, up, down, down, up. So that's the main part of the beat. Um, when I'm doing that, I'm usually uh, usually what I'll try to do is on the second down, okay, down, okay, down, 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 right. On that second time, I hit the down strum. I'm trying to put the fat part of my palm on on uh, my guitar so that you can um, so that it, it makes it a very percussive sound it's almost like I'm playing the drums with my guitar okay so that's what gives it that down chuck down chuck all right down chuck up. and then as soon as you hit that second chuck you, you, you hit the guitar up in a syncopated a sort of offbeat kind of way right so you could do the down and then the quick chuck and then you have the the upward strum really quick right after it. Okay? Down, 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 up. Down, down, up. Down, down, up. Right? Okay? And then you basically, so you do that and then you repeat it again. Down, chuck, up. Down, chuck, up. Okay? Uh, as soon as you hit that first upward strum, you're also going to want to do a sort of hand press on the strings, try to make it so that you can actually almost hear yourself in, muting the strings with your palm. Down, up, down, chuck, up, chuck, down, chuck, up, chuck, right? Down, okay, down, up, chuck, down, chuck, up, chuck, down, up, okay, so you do the down, chuck, up, chuck twice and then the down up. Okay, now it all sounds weird right now, but when I blend it all together, you can see what I'm getting. 
Now I'm going to do it very slowly so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Down, up, chuck. Down, chuck, up, chuck. Down, up, chuck. Down, chuck, up, chuck. Down, chuck, up, chuck. Down, up, chuck. Down, chuck, up, chuck. Down, chuck, up, chuck. Down, up, chuck. Right? Down, Now you don't have to do the chucks and stuff uh, if you don't want to. You can get by on this song just by going like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, 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 right? And so you'll get by with it doing that and you'll still have the main sound of the song, right? Because that's what we're trying to do with this song. And so um, the chords are relatively simple, you know. Uh, for the main vocal part, you usually just tend to, I just tend to kind of stop and just, uh, you know, have a little sort of atmospheric kind of sound. Well, my heart knows me better than I know myself, so I'm gonna let it do all the talking. Right? And then after the, the two lines of vocals, you come back into the E minor, to the B7, and then back to the E minor, right? Um, so obviously the two chords that we're doing here is the E minor, and then we've got our B7, right? Um, put your second finger on the second fret, first finger, uh, sorry, second finger on the second fret of the second string, first finger on the first fret of the third string, third finger on the second fret of the G string, the fourth string going down. And then your pinky is on the, the highest string on the second fret, the E string. Okay, that's your E7. Don't hit the low E string when you do your B7. I usually tend to put my thumb over the E string on the set on the second fret. You don't actually hit it. You just put it there so that it mutes the E string, right? I don't know if you can hear that, but it's very muffled on the E string because I'm doing that. And that gives you a little bit more freedom to play the rest uh, to play the rest of the chord without hearing that note. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the whole verse part and everything. And then it comes to the chorus. I said, no, 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 I said, no. So it's basically E minor to the C, C to the C, uh, sorry, E minor to the D, D to the C. Alright, um, some people put the pinky on the third fret of the B string on your C chord, which makes a C add ninth. Just gives it a kind of added sort of flavor. I don't know if that's actually what she does in the song, but I've seen it in taps and stuff, so. Um, yeah. Uh, you're not, uh, no, no, you're not, uh, you're not the one for me. Sorry, so yeah, that's the chorus, is E minor to the D, D to the C. No, no, you're not the one for me. I'm just going to play it through for you guys. Uh, I might not make it all the way through. It is kind of a vocally kind of song. But we'll see how she goes. Hopefully you guys dig it. This is Black Horse and the Cherry Tree by K.T. Tunstall. I don't know if she wrote it, but I, it's the, that's the version I kind of figured that Donna was looking for. So this one's for you, Donna. I hope you dig it. <coughs> <coughs> So I'm gonna let it do all the talking. Sent it away to the middle of nowhere, the big black horse 
Ross and Jerry Tree. I fell in fear up on my back and I don't look back to just keep on walking. But the little Lord Ross, he looked this way and said, hey lady, will you marry me? understandable way to play the strum uh, and I hope you guys dig the tune um, those black horse and a cherry tree uh, I'm Dustin Cormier for um, how to rock a campfire catch you guys in the next video please send in your requests and whenever I find time in my busy life uh, I'll try to help you guys out with it this is all for you guys <laughs> peace and love